Okay, I'm here to handle the objection. We want to think it over. And uh, we hear this all the time. And understand that the reason why we're hearing it many times is that the client just has an unanswered question in their mind that hasn't been handled. So here's how we typically handle it. Before I do, my name is Jeff Quinton with Cal Williams Realty here from the Jersey Shore. And uh, I work in the Atlantic and Cape May area um, here in New Jersey. My best number to reach me is 609-398-5333. And my email is jeff at the Quinton Group. Dot com. So here we go. So um, we want to think it over. That's great. And since three minds are better than two, tell me out loud, what would you be thinking about? I'm going to pause. I'm going to be very quiet. I'm going to zip it up a little bit. And ultimately, I'm going to listen right then for the client to see what they say. Because understand that they just have a concern of something. So let's assume that they say, well, you know, I'm concerned about listing the property for six months. That's a very long time. Do they give you some type of objection outside of it? Then you're going to go ahead and handle that objection and then go right back to the close. Again, go ahead and sign the contract so you can help them get what they want in the time they want. So let's say that during that, they still are a little concerned and say, you know, um, we want to sleep on it. So I would handle it this way. You're right. This is a big decision, isn't it? And yet the decision must be based upon what it is that you want, correct? See, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and sign the contract tonight, contingent upon your approval within 24 hours. That way we both win. May I share with you how? Well, see, you'll have 24 hours with no pressure, so you can feel comfortable and sleep on it. And then I'll call you in the morning and you simply tell me yes or tell me no. If you tell me no, I'll rip up the contract and send it back to you. If you tell me yes, I will go ahead and start marketing your property immediately. Either way, all we need to do now is simply sign the contract so I can help you get what you want in the time you want. Won't that be great? Go ahead, sign the contract. So in this case, many times what I do is if they say, you know, I want to think about it, if they want to, um, you know, sleep on it, I'm going to go ahead and say, that's fine. We can either do two things. One is we can actually date the contract for tomorrow, go ahead and sign the contract tonight, and we'll date it for tomorrow, and then it'll become effective tomorrow. If you call me tomorrow and you decide that you want out, no problem, we rip it up. But understand this, 99% of the time, you, when you get that contract signed, they're going to call you the next day and tell you to move forward, even if, they're at, even if they are interviewing other agents. It's the fact that you are powerful enough that you are able to get them to sign the contract. Keep in mind, people silently want to be led. They want to make a decision. And if you can help them make that decision and, and be, be able to demonstrate your power and getting them to do that, they actually want that. And you can even share them uh, a thought the other way. That if there was a buyer in front of them looking to buy the home, would they want the buyer to leave without signing a contract? Or would you, as a seller, want your agent to go ahead and have that buyer sign an offer on their home? See, that's the power in it. But you got to know how to handle the objection. So those are the two that I typically will handle if you want to think it over, if you want to sleep on it. Hopefully you enjoy this. If I can help you in any way, uh, reach out to me anytime. Appreciate it.